all started uh, on a fishing expedition in northern Colorado in 2010. First week of August, I went up for a long weekend of fishing. And uh, some of you may have heard I had a serious accident at the time. Uh, essentially broke my leg, uh, was stuck in a river bottom for five days, got in the water and uh, contracted hypothermia and was in uh, very critical shape. Uh, fortunately, uh, the um, rescue uh, team got to me before I, uh, I uh, passed away and I was taken to St. Anthony's Hospital. And that's basically where the, uh, the pastoral care that started with Tim uh, in the ICU. He was on call the day that I was brought in. I had a temperature of about 86 degrees and a heart rate when they found me of about 30. So I was pretty unstable and not looking too good. But I do have this distinct vision of Tim's face about six inches above my nose. And uh, it did jog me out of my, uh, my uh, semi-conscious state. And was, uh, of course, Tim was there to uh, to pray, and uh, during that time it was very clear, uh, uh, his presence was very clear to me, and the, uh, the prayer at the time very strengthening, because I was in pretty, uh, pretty shaky condition. Uh, I was in the ICU about 17 days, and St. Anthony's for a total of 33, and during that time I had many frequent uh, visits with, uh, with Father John, Father Tim, uh, Deacon Bethany came in as well as a lot of the parishioners. Uh, uh, so much so, I think they had to kind of damp dampen the flow of uh, visitors so that I wouldn't get too, uh, too overwhelmed by it. And so that went on for the better part of a month. And, and as I recall, uh, as I was about to leave the ICU, there was a particularly hard time. In my case, I was getting better. And I had a very serious case, of, I think, of survivor's guilt and uh, some very disturbing thoughts uh, around that. And I particularly, at that time, the support from, uh, from John and Bethany and, and Tim was, uh, was really appreciated to uh, <clears throat> talk, me, talk me through that uh, period. So for that, I'm thankful. And so I think the, uh, the pastoral ministry here with its complete, with the complete team has really been a, a no benefit to me personally. And I think it's a benefit to other uh, parishioners uh, who find themselves in, in the hospital.